What's going on everybody? My name is Jeff Bunka and I am the drive coach and one of the engineering mentors for Team 5895 Petty Robotics. Today I'm going to be reviewing and analyzing qualification match 40 from the 2025 First Mid-Atlantic District Championship event. This match sees two qualification alliances, both with a reasonable amount of scoring potential. Very high ceilings here. Uh, the interesting thing uh, that we're going to go and focus in on in this match is how algae, which has been you know, marginally utilized uh, in terms of game elements in earlier season play, is actually becoming a very impactful uh, detail and part of these Reefscape games uh, when it comes to higher levels of play. In match 40, uh, we're going to see the Red Alliance that executes very cleanly. Um, they're running a, a style of triple offense that eventually bleeds over onto the blue side of the field, uh, producing some counter offense uh, and also some stealing plays from their opponents on the blue side. Let's check it out. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Right, so let's look at the teams. Um, first, on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 3637, the Daleks out of Flemington, New Jersey. Next up on blue, we have 1811 Fresh, representing Newark, New Jersey. And finally, we have 2720 Red Watch Robotics out of Medford, New Jersey. And then over on the red side of the field, we have Team 834, the Spartex from Center Valley, Pennsylvania. Team 103, the Cybersonics from Kintnersville, Pennsylvania. And finally on red, we have Team 2722 Charge Robotics from Marlton, New Jersey. Okay, so we're going to look at the start of the autonomous period here to begin. Uh, team 103, the Cybersonics on the red side of the field, are going to do an interesting auto routine where they score a single L1 coral on the reef and then focus all of their autonomous efforts remaining on the algae on the reef. So they end up pulling two algae uh, from the reef and scoring them in the, bar in the barge uh, and then actually are able to acquire a third algae in their manipulator before the end of autonomous. So they've already started to queue up algae manipulation right out of the gate. At the end of Autonomous, 103 quickly pulls the third algae from the reef and deposits it into the processor. Um, 2722 and 834, their partners on the red side of the field, uh, are setting up standard coral cycling routes, each pulling from a separate human player station. So this is spreading the Red Alliance out nicely. It makes them very hard to defend, and everybody's contributing to the score, so nobody's relegated to a defensive effort here, playing to their team's strengths. At two minutes, two seconds left in the match, 103 starts to barge the algae on the floor, starting from the side with their stronger coral scorer, in this case, 834. Uh, so what they're doing is opening up the field. They're pulling... Uh, driving hazards off the field so that 834 can score more efficiently and they're actually converting those driving hazards into points for their alliance so it's sort of a dual benefit for that action at 1 minute 52 seconds left in play uh, the barge cycling uh, that they had started is now completed uh, and the Cybersonics are tracking their Coral Partners progress. So what they're going to notice is that L4 is starting to fill up uh, and they need to open up more scoring opportunities for maximum points for their teammates, uh, which would be L3. So uh, they make the decision to pull the last L3 blocking algae from the reef, uh, which opens up that runway and ultimately opens the door for more L3 scoring for both their partners. One minute, 20 seconds left in play now. The Cybersonics have now grabbed the last floor stage algae from their side, and they're going to go ahead and push for the co-op to secure the coral ranking point. Uh, so they'll go across the field, they'll push through the cage zone on their half of the barge, 
uh, and they were they're going to score that algae in their opponent's processor, which is a little ap atypical, uh, but it's not against the rules, uh, and it's definitely an interesting take on securing the cooperation points. Okay, so we're going to fast forward to 50 seconds left in play now. Uh, now that both of the processes are done, processors are finished, uh, you know, by 103, uh, they are still downfield on the opponent's side of the field. Uh, so the algae bot will capitalize by stealing a floor algae from their opponents uh, for their own barge. Uh, so this ends up becoming a, a super critical trend in the playoff rounds for this event. Uh, you start to see this become a, a pretty standard uh, and very aggressive uh, nature of play from multiple alliances. Right, so now we're at the final 20 seconds. Uh, Red has put up a total of 11 algae in comparison to Blue's three. And two of those uh, blue algae were scored by uh, the Red Alliance in the processor. So with a final score of 146 to 122 in favor of Red, uh, this match showed us that while the Reef and Coral are a centerpiece to this gameplay, uh, the algae management and manipulation is quickly becoming a key factor in winning higher level matches. You have the ability to clear direct driving hazards from the field and turn them into points, as well as the ability to tip the scales in your alliance's favor, especially when the reef starts to fill up quicker and quicker as we get into the later part of the season. So don't sleep on the algae. you got to manipulate that algae if you want to win these high-stakes matches. All right, well, that's going to do it for this Finalysis. Make sure to stay tuned to Fun for more content just like this. Uh, make sure to comment below on anything you noticed that I might have missed from this match. And if there are any other matches you would like to see analyzed, make sure to drop us a line. I'm Jeff with the Fun Robotics Network and Team 5895 Petty Robotics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or a $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.